Good day to you all and welcome. Today we embark on a right royal exploration, delving into the fascinating realm where artificial intelligence rubs shoulders with the very human concept of leadership. Can a machine truly judge the mental fitness of a leader? Now that's a question fit for a king, or perhaps a king's psychiatrist. History is rife with tales of leaders whose mental acuity, or lack thereof, shape the destiny of nations. Remember King George III, our own dear monarch who famously lost his grip on both his wits and the American colonies? Imagine if back then they had a clever bit of AI to offer His Majesty some guidance, eh? Could have saved a spot of bother across the pond, wouldn't you say? But let's be clear. This isn't about labelling anyone mad, is it? No, no, not at all. It's about understanding what makes a leader truly tick. What makes them fit to lead, to inspire, to make decisions that impact all our lives. We're talking about resilience, emotional intelligence, the ability to handle a good old-fashioned crisis without falling to pieces. Think of Nelson Mandela, for example. Talk about grace under pressure. Years imprisoned, yet he emerged with a spirit unbroken, ready to lead a nation. Now that's mental fitness, wouldn't you say? But how on earth do you measure such a thing? Can an algorithm truly grasp the qualities that make a Mandela, a Churchill, or even a, dare I say it, a Margaret Thatcher? For centuries we've relied on intuition, gut feelings and the occasional stiff upper lip to assess leadership potential. We've sent young officers into battle, thrust CEOs into the cutthroat corporate world and hope for the best. But the world's moved on a bit, hasn't it? We live in a world of data, of algorithms that predict our shopping habits and tell us which cat videos we'll find most amusing. So why not apply this analytical prowess to something as crucial as leadership? After all, a leader's decisions can make or break companies, sway economies, even spark wars. Surely a bit of technological assistance wouldn't go amiss, eh? Now I know what you're thinking. Hold on, old boy, you say. Are we suggesting that a computer can understand the complexities of the human mind better than we understand ourselves? And that, my friends, is precisely the question we're here to explore. Can AI truly delve into the murky depths of our grey matter, analyse our every utterance and facial tick, and pronounce with certainty, yes, this one is fit to lead? Or is this a step too far? Are there some things that even the most sophisticated algorithm simply can't grasp? Over the next few minutes, we'll unpack the exciting and perhaps slightly unnerving potential of AI in the realm of leadership assessment. We'll look at the science, the skeptics, and the success stories. We'll explore the ethical tightropes and the tantalizing possibilities. So buckle up, grab your thinking caps, and prepare to be both amazed and perhaps a tad unsettled. Because, as we're about to discover, the future of leadership might just be written in lines of code. And who knows, by the end of this, you might even start looking at your own boss in a whole new light. Now, let's be clear. Assessing mental fitness isn't about whipping out a tape measure, is it? It's a rather more nuanced affair than that, wouldn't you say? We're talking about identifying those intangible qualities that separate the great leaders from the merely average, or dare I say it, the downright disastrous. For centuries, philosophers and poets have grappled with the very essence of leadership, haven't they? From Plato's philosopher kings to Machiavelli's cunning prince, the debate has raged on. But now, it seems, a new contender has entered the ring, the ever-evolving world of artificial intelligence. Imagine, if you will, a digital oracle, capable of sifting through mountains of data, analysing speeches, interviews, even social media posts, to paint a portrait of a leader's psyche. Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, doesn't it? And yet, here we are, on the cusp of a technological revolution that promises to do just that. AI algorithms, 
armed with the latest in machine learning and natural language processing, are already being used to assess personality traits, predict behaviour and even detect early signs of mental distress. Think back through history to those figures who've graced the world stage. Caligula, with his penchant for appointing his horse as a senator, clearly wasn't operating with a full deck, was he? Then you have someone like Churchill, a man who, despite battling his own inner demons, rallied a nation during its darkest hour. What if we could analyse their words, their actions, their decision-making processes, and identify the subtle markers that set them apart? Could AI help us separate the Caligulas from the Churchills of tomorrow? Could it provide us with a sort of early warning system? A way to identify potential pitfalls before they become full-blown crises? Now, before we get carried away with visions of AI-powered crystal balls, let's inject a dose of good old-fashioned caution, shall we? Data, as they say, is just information, and information, like a mischievous imp, can be twisted and turned to fit any narrative. Just because an algorithm can spot patterns doesn't mean it understands the nuances of human behaviour, does it? Context, my friends, is everything. A sarcastic quip, a moment of vulnerability, a flash of anger. These things can be easily misinterpreted by a machine that lacks the capacity for empathy or understanding of human emotion. And what about the ethical implications, eh? Can a machine truly judge the moral compass of a leader? Can it differentiate between a bold visionary and a ruthless tyrant, between a calculated risk-taker and a reckless gambler? These aren't just academic questions, are they? They strike at the very heart of what it means to be human, to grapple with complex moral dilemmas, to make decisions that are both rational and compassionate. Are we really ready to outsource such weighty matters to lines of code and algorithms? Now, before you reach for the panic button, let's not forget that AI isn't just about cold, hard data, is it? In fact, it's already making significant strides in the field of mental health. Imagine, for instance, AI-powered chatbots offering round-the-clock support to stressed-out executives or virtual therapists, providing personalised guidance and coping mechanisms. And it's not just about treating problems after they arise, is it? AI can also be used to promote mental well-being proactively. Imagine wearable technology that tracks stress levels and provides real-time feedback, or AI-powered apps that offer mindfulness exercises and relaxation techniques. Not without a few hiccups. So, are we on the verge of a brave new world where AI acts as a sort of digital guardian, ensuring the mental fitness of our leaders? Well, not so fast, old boy. Let's not forget that even the most sophisticated technology is only as good as the humans who design and deploy it, eh? Bias, prejudice and good old-fashioned human error can all creep into the system, leading to inaccurate assessments and potentially disastrous consequences. Imagine, for instance, an AI system that's been trained on data that's skewed towards a particular gender, ethnicity or leadership style. The potential for unfair and discriminatory outcomes is, shall we say, rather significant. So there you have it, a glimpse into the fascinating and perhaps slightly unnerving world of AI and leadership assessment. We've explored the potential benefits, the ethical quandaries, and the importance of approaching this new technology with a healthy dose of caution and a good dash of common sense. But our journey isn't over yet, is it? In our next act, we'll delve into the nitty-gritty of real-world AI applications, examining the research, the success stories, and the cautionary tales. We'll hear from the experts, the skeptics, and perhaps even a few robots along the way. So stay tuned, my friends, because things are about to get very interesting indeed. Right then, chaps. 
Time to roll up our sleeves and delve into the engine room of this AI contraption, shall we? Don't worry, we'll keep the jargon to a minimum. This isn't a lecture hall at Oxford, after all. At its core, AI assessment relies on something called machine learning. Think of it as a rather clever computer program that learns from data, a bit like a precocious child, but without the tantrums, thankfully. You feed it mountains of information, speeches, articles, even social media posts, and the algorithm starts to spot patterns, make connections, a bit like Sherlock Holmes on a digital bender. Now, one of the most intriguing applications of AI in this arena is personality assessment. You know the sort of thing those questionnaires that ask you to rate how strongly you agree with statements like, I enjoy spending time in large crowds or I prefer cats to dogs. Except in this case, it's the algorithm doing the assessing, not some chap with a clipboard and a furrowed brow. There's a rather famous model for this called the Big Five Personality Traits, openness, conscientiousness, extroversion, agreeableness, and neuroticism. Now, I won't bore you with the psychological intricacies, but suffice it to say, AI can analyze text and speech patterns to predict where someone falls on these scales. Rather unnerving, wouldn't you say? But wait. There's more. Some researchers believe that AI can go even further, predicting not just personality, but also behavior and even mental health outcomes. Imagine, if you will, an algorithm that could flag a CEO who's about to have a meltdown or a world leader teetering on the brink of, shall we say, a significant policy shift. Now, I'm not suggesting we start basing national security decisions on Twitter rants just yet but there's no denying that the potential is there, lurking beneath the surface like a rather intriguing digital oracle. Now, before we get carried away with all this predictive power, let's pause for a moment, shall we? Remember those ethical considerations we touched upon earlier? Well, they loom rather large in this particular realm, after all, we're talking about using algorithms to assess some of the most powerful people on the planet. And the question is, who gets to decide what data is used to train these algorithms? Who sets the benchmarks for what constitutes good leadership or mental fitness? These aren't just technical questions, are they? They're deeply philosophical and societal ones with profound implications for the future of leadership itself. And let's not forget, old boy, that algorithms are only as good as the data they're fed. And data, like a dodgy curry, can be rather unpredictable at times. A classic example of this is the case of a certain CEO, we won't name names to avoid any awkward lawsuits, who was unceremoniously shown the door by his own company's algorithm. Seems their AI-powered performance management system had taken a particular dislike to his leadership style, flagging him as a high-risk individual based on his email communication patterns and decision-making history. Now, whether this was a triumph of artificial intelligence or a case of algorithms gone wild is still a matter of debate in Silicon Valley pubs to this day. And that brings us to another rather crucial point, bias. Ah, bias, that old chestnut. It's not just a human flaw, you know, it can creep into algorithms as well, lurking in the data sets used to train them. Imagine, for instance, an AI system that's been fed a diet of historical data on successful leaders, data that's likely to be skewed towards a particular gender, ethnicity, or leadership style. The result? An algorithm that perpetuates existing power structures, rewarding those who fit the mold and penalizing those who don't. Not exactly a recipe for progress, is it? So, where does that leave us? Are we destined to be ruled by algorithms? Are every move scrutinized by digital overlords? Well, not so fast, old bean. Let's not forget the importance of good old-fashioned human judgment, shall we? AI can provide insights, it can highlight patterns, 
but it can't replace the nuanced understanding that comes from experience, empathy, and a good old-fashioned chat over a cuppa. We still need human beings in the loop, asking the right questions, challenging assumptions, and making sure that technology serves humanity, not the other way around. Well, there you have it, a whistle-stop tour of the science, the success stories, and the cautionary tales of AI and leadership assessment. It's a complex landscape, isn't it? Full of potential pitfalls and tantalizing possibilities. But fear not, intrepid viewers. We at M Yoga Coaching and Consulting are here to guide you through this digital labyrinth. Our team of expert coach and consultants can help you navigate the ethical dilemmas, leverage the power of AI responsibly, and ensure that your leadership journey is both impactful and fulfilling. All right then, my friends, enough with the theory. Let's strap on our metaphorical Wellingtons and venture out into the real world, shall we? Where the rubber meets the road, as they say. AI assessment isn't just some futuristic fantasy cooked up in a Silicon Valley lab. It's already happening, quietly transforming the way we work and lead from the boardroom to the shop floor. Take recruitment, for example. Remember those days of sifting through mountains of CVs, trying to decipher cryptic cover letters? Well, these days, AI algorithms are increasingly acting as digital gatekeepers, scanning applications for keywords, assessing personality fit, even analyzing facial expressions during video interviews. Hire or fire. When algorithms play God with your career, now on the one hand, this can be a good thing, can't it? It can help eliminate human bias, level the playing field, give everyone a fair shot. But, and this is a rather large but, it also raises some rather thorny questions, wouldn't you say? What happens when the algorithm gets it wrong? What happens when your entire career hinges on the whims of a digital decision maker? There have been cases, you see, of perfectly capable candidates being rejected, because their CV didn't contain the right keywords, or because their facial expressions during a video interview didn't quite align with the algorithm's pre-programmed notions of enthusiasm or cultural fit. Rather unsettling, wouldn't you say? And it's not just recruitment where AI is making its presence felt. Oh no, my friends, it's also creeping into the realm of performance management. Imagine, if you will, a world where your every keystroke is monitored, your every email scrutinized, your every meeting analyzed by an omnipresent digital overseer. Sounds like something out of a dystopian sci-fi flick, doesn't it? But for some companies, this is the future of work. AI-powered performance management systems promise to provide objective data on employee productivity, identify top performers, and weed out, shall we say, the less than stellar contributors. But here's a thought. What if we could use this technology for good, eh? What if, instead of just monitoring employees, we could use AI to identify and address toxic leadership? Imagine an algorithm that could analyze communication patterns, detect bullying or harassment, flag up managers who create a climate of fear and intimidation. Now that would be something worth celebrating, wouldn't it? A world where AI empowers employees, protects the vulnerable, and helps create healthier, happier workplaces. A world where bad bosses tremble in fear of the all-seeing, all-knowing algorithm. And it's not just about catching the bad apples, is it? AI can also be used to develop better leaders, to provide personalized coaching and feedback, to help individuals identify and overcome their weaknesses. Imagine, for instance, an AI-powered leadership coach that analyzes your communication style, identifies your blind spots, and provides tailored recommendations for improvement. Or a virtual mentor that helps you navigate difficult conversations, build stronger relationships, 
and develop the emotional intelligence needed to lead with empathy and authenticity. Now, I know what you're thinking. All this talk of algorithms and data points can feel a bit, well, impersonal, can't it? And you'd be right to a certain extent. We mustn't forget the importance of human connection, of intuition, of those intangible qualities that make us, well, human. I'm reminded of a rather amusing story I heard recently about an over-eager intern at a tech company who decided to impress his bosses by programming the office coffee machine to recognize individual employees' preferences. Sounds like a good idea in theory, doesn't it? Except the algorithm went a bit haywire, started predicting people's coffee orders based on their mood, their workload, even the weather. Chaos ensued, naturally. The moral of the story? AI is a powerful tool, but it's not a magic bullet. It needs to be used thoughtfully, ethically, and with a healthy dose of common sense. We need to be careful not to get so caught up in the hype that we lose sight of the human element. So, as we navigate this brave new world of AI-powered leadership, let's remember to keep our wits about us, shall we? Let's ask the tough questions, challenge assumptions, and ensure that technology serves humanity, not the other way around. But our journey isn't over yet, is it? Oh no, my friends, we've only just scratched the surface. In our next act, we'll delve even deeper into the ethical considerations, the potential pitfalls, and the long-term implications of using AI to judge our leaders. We'll explore the boundaries between artificial intelligence and human intuition, between data-driven insights and good old-fashioned gut feelings. So buckle up, my friends, because things are about to get even more interesting. Now, let's address the elephant in the room, shall we? The metaphorical elephant that looms large in our discussions about technology and its role in decision-making. This elephant represents the often unspoken yet deeply ingrained belief that technology, particularly AI, can be a neutral arbiter in our complex world, or perhaps the algorithm in the server room. These algorithms, housed in sleek humming servers, are often seen as the ultimate solution to human error and bias. They promise efficiency, accuracy, and most importantly, objectivity. There's a certain allure to the notion of AI assessment, isn't there? The idea that a machine devoid of human flaws can make decisions that are fair and impartial. It's a comforting thought, especially in a world where human judgment can be so easily swayed by emotions, prejudices, and personal experiences. A seductive promise of objectivity, of removing messy human emotions from the equation. The scales of justice perfectly balanced with no room for bias or error. This is the dream that AI promises to fulfill. But as with most things in life, my friends, it's not quite so simple, is it? The reality is far more complex. Algorithms, after all, are created by humans, and humans, with all their imperfections, inevitably impart some of their biases into the code they write. Remember the tale of the Emperor's New Clothes? It's a story that has been told for generations, a cautionary tale about the dangers of self-deception and the power of collective delusion. The Emperor, convinced of his own brilliance, parades around naked, believing in the illusion of a magnificent garment that only the wise can see. His courtiers, too afraid to speak the truth, go along with the charade until a child points out the obvious. AI assessment, my friends, can sometimes feel a bit like that. A case of mistaking complexity for wisdom, of attributing an almost mythical objectivity to algorithms that are, at their core, creations of our own often flawed human minds. We see the intricate lines of code, the sophisticated models, and we assume that they must be infallible. But in reality, these algorithms are only as good as the data they are trained on and the assumptions they are built upon. Of attributing an almost mythical objectivity to algorithms that are, at their core, creations of our own, often flawed, human minds. The human brain, with all its creativity and ingenuity, is also prone to errors and biases. 
And these imperfections inevitably find their way into the algorithms we create. Consider the history of computing. From the earliest machines to the most advanced AI systems, each step in the evolution of technology has been marked by human ingenuity, but also by human limitations. Early computers were prone to errors, and even today's most advanced AI systems are not immune to the biases and flaws of their creators. So what does this mean for us? It means that we must approach AI with a healthy dose of skepticism. We must recognize that while AI has the potential to enhance our decision-making processes, it is not a panacea. It is a tool, and like any tool, it is only as good as the hands that wield it. This calls for a broader conversation about ethics and responsibility in AI development. We need to ensure that the algorithms we create are transparent, accountable and designed with fairness in mind. This requires collaboration between technologists, ethicists and policymakers. Education also plays a crucial role. We must equip the next generation with the knowledge and skills to navigate the complexities of AI. This means not only teaching them how to code, but also instilling in them a deep understanding of the ethical implications of their work. Ultimately, the goal is to create a future where AI serves humanity, rather than the other way around. A future where technology enhances our lives without compromising our values. This is the challenge that lies before us, and it is one that we must rise to meet. So, as we move forward, let us do so with our eyes wide open. Let us unmask the illusion of objectivity and embrace the reality of our shared humanity. For it is only by acknowledging our imperfections that we can hope to create a better, more just world. You see, the danger lies in forgetting that algorithms are not born in a vacuum, are they? These complex systems, which we often regard as impartial and objective, are actually deeply influenced by the environment in which they are created. They are not isolated entities, but are shaped by the myriad of inputs they receive from the world around them. They're shaped by the data they're fed, the questions they're asked, and the very assumptions of their creators. Every piece of data, every query, every hypothesis carries with it a fragment of human perspective, a slice of our collective consciousness, the very assumptions of their creators. These assumptions, whether explicit or implicit, guide the development process, influencing the outcomes in ways we might not even realize. It's a subtle but powerful force that can steer the direction of an algorithm's learning and decision-making processes. And data, my friends, can be a fickle beast. It is not a neutral entity, it is a reflection of the world as we see it, with all its imperfections and biases. Data can be incomplete, skewed or even manipulated, and these flaws can be inherited by the algorithms that rely on them. It can reflect our unconscious biases, our societal prejudices, and our own limited understanding of the world. These biases can be subtle, often lurking beneath the surface, influencing our decisions and actions in ways we might not even be aware of. Our own limited understanding of the world. This limited perspective can lead to a narrow view of what is possible, excluding alternative viewpoints and experiences that could enrich the algorithm's learning process. Imagine, for instance, an AI system trained to identify high potential leaders based on historical data. This system, designed to be a tool for identifying future leaders, is only as good as the data it is trained on. Now, if that data primarily reflects a certain type of leadership, say the assertive risk-taking style often associated with, say, the assertive risk-taking style often associated with, dare I say it, a certain type of alpha male, then the algorithm might unwittingly penalize individuals who don't fit that mold. This is not just a hypothetical scenario, it is a real risk that we must be vigilant about. Dare I say it, a certain type of alpha male, then the algorithm might unwittingly penalize individuals who don't fit that mold. Women, introverts, those from marginalized communities, their talents might be overlooked, their potential underestimated, all because the algorithm has inherited our own blind spots. Then the algorithm might unwittingly penalize individuals who don't fit that mold. Women, introverts, those from marginalized communities, their talents might be overlooked, their potential underestimated, all because the algorithm has inherited our own blind spots. 
This is a profound issue that goes beyond mere technical limitations. It touches on the very fabric of our society and how we value different types of contributions. Those from marginalized communities, their talents might be overlooked, their potential underestimated, all because the algorithm has inherited our own blind spots. This is a profound issue that goes beyond mere technical limitations. It touches on the very fabric of our society and how we value different types of contributions. We must recognize that diversity in data and perspectives is not just a nice to have, but a necessity for creating fair and effective AI systems. Their talents might be overlooked, their potential underestimated, all because the algorithm has inherited our own blind spots. This is a profound issue that goes beyond mere technical limitations. It touches on the very fabric of our society and how we value different types of contributions. We must recognize that diversity in data and perspectives is not just a nice to have, but a necessity for creating fair and effective AI systems. By actively seeking out and incorporating diverse viewpoints, we can build algorithms that are more robust, more inclusive, and ultimately more just. All because the algorithm has inherited our own blind spots. This is a profound issue that goes beyond mere technical limitations. It touches on the very fabric of our society and how we value different types of contributions. We must recognize that diversity in data and perspectives is not just a nice to have, but a necessity for creating fair and effective AI systems. By actively seeking out and incorporating diverse viewpoints, we can build algorithms that are more robust, more inclusive, and ultimately more just. This is not just a technical challenge, but a moral imperative, one that requires us to confront our own biases and strive for a more equitable future. And then there's the rather prickly issue of privacy, isn't there? AI assessment often relies on gathering vast amounts of personal data, everything from our social media posts to our facial expressions, our tone of voice, even our sleep patterns. Now, some might argue that this is a small price to pay for better leadership, for a more efficient and effective workplace. But where do we draw the line, my friends? At what point does the quest for insights morph into an Orwellian invasion of our innermost thoughts and feelings? Do we really want to live in a world where our every move is monitored, analysed and judged by algorithms? A world where our worth as individuals is reduced to a series of data points on a spreadsheet? And let's not forget the human cost of all this, shall we? What happens when we automate leadership? When we replace human connection with algorithmic efficiency, do we risk creating a world of cold, impersonal workplaces, devoid of empathy, creativity, and those serendipitous, water-cooler moments that often spark innovation? Imagine a world where performance reviews are conducted by chatbots, where promotions are decided by algorithms, where your only interaction with your boss is through a series of automated emails and performance dashboards, Efficient, perhaps, but rather bleak, wouldn't you say? The limits of algorithmic empathy. Now, I'm not suggesting that AI has no place in the world of leadership. Far from it. But we must be mindful of its limitations, mustn't we? Algorithms can analyse data. They can spot patterns, but can they truly understand the complexities of human motivation, the nuances of emotional intelligence, the very essence of what makes a good leader? Can an algorithm truly grasp the quiet courage of a Nelson Mandela, the unwavering resolve of a Winston Churchill, the compassionate leadership of a Mother Teresa? Can it judge a soul, my friends? I, for one, remain a tad sceptical. You see, leadership at its core is about more than just data and algorithms, isn't it? It's about inspiring others, about navigating uncertainty, about making tough decisions with both head and heart. It's about building trust, fostering collaboration and creating a shared sense of purpose. And these are qualities that at least for now remain uniquely human. So let us not be seduced by the siren song of technological determinism, my friends. 
Let us not forget that AI is a tool, a powerful one to be sure, but a tool nonetheless. And like any tool, its impact depends entirely on the hands that wield it. The key, I believe, lies in finding the right balance in leveraging the power of AI while preserving the irreplaceable value of human judgment, empathy and intuition. We need leaders who are both tech-savvy and emotionally intelligent, who can navigate the complexities of a data-driven world without losing sight of their humanity. AI, then, becomes not a replacement for human leadership, but a powerful partner, a source of insights and support, a tool for amplifying our strengths and mitigating our weaknesses. It frees us from the drudgery of data analysis, allowing us to focus on what truly matters, building relationships, fostering innovation, and creating a better future for all. And that, my friends, brings us to the crux of the matter. The future of leadership is not about choosing between humans and algorithms, but about finding ways for them to work together, to complement and enhance each other's strengths. It's about harnessing the power of technology to create a world where leadership is more inclusive, more effective and ultimately more human. But our journey isn't over yet, is it? Oh no, my friends, the best is yet to come. In our final act, we'll explore the practical steps you can take to navigate this exciting new world, to develop your own leadership potential, and to ensure that you thrive in the age of AI. So stay tuned, my friends, for the grand finale. Well now, my friends, we've reached the final act of our grand exploration. We've journeyed through the history of leadership delved into the fascinating world of artificial intelligence and grappled with the ethical dilemmas and tantalizing possibilities that lie ahead. But let's be clear, this isn't just a spectator sport, is it? The rise of AI in the workplace isn't some distant futuristic event. It's happening now, transforming industries, reshaping job roles and raising the bar for what it means to be an effective leader in the 21st century. The question is, are you ready to step into the crucible, to embrace the challenges and opportunities that this new era presents? Now you might be thinking, hold on old boy, this all sounds rather daunting. And I completely understand where you're coming from. The rapid pace of technological advancement can indeed seem overwhelming at first glance. It's like standing at the edge of a vast, uncharted territory, unsure of where to begin or what lies ahead. And I wouldn't blame you for a moment. It's natural to feel a bit apprehensive when faced with the unknown. But remember, every great journey begins with a single step, and you're not alone in this. There are countless resources and communities out there ready to support you. But fear not, my friends, for within every challenge lies an opportunity for growth. Just as the dawn brings new possibilities, so too does the advent of new technologies. Embracing these changes can lead to personal and professional development that you might never have imagined. Just as a blacksmith hones their skills through practice and perseverance, so too can you develop the qualities that will allow you to thrive in this age of AI. It's about dedication, continuous learning, and the willingness to adapt. The blacksmith doesn't become a master overnight. It takes time, effort, and a lot of trial and error. So what are these essential skills? What tools do you need in your metaphorical toolbox to navigate this new landscape? Let's delve into some of the key competencies that will set you apart. Well, for starters, you'll need a healthy dose of technological fluency, wouldn't you say? This means being comfortable with digital tools and platforms, understanding how they work, and knowing how to leverage them to your advantage. It's not just about using technology, but mastering it to enhance your productivity and creativity. I'm not suggesting you all become computer programmers overnight. That would be unrealistic and unnecessary. However, having a basic understanding of coding principles can be incredibly beneficial. It demystifies the technology and gives you a better grasp of what's possible. But a basic understanding of AI 
data analytics and the ethical implications of these technologies is becoming increasingly vital for leaders at all levels. In today's data-driven world, the ability to interpret and make decisions based on data is crucial. Moreover, understanding the ethical considerations ensures that we use these powerful tools responsibly. Think of it as adding a digital string to your bow, eh? Each new skill you acquire enhances your versatility and makes you more adaptable to the ever-changing landscape. It's about building a diverse skill set that allows you to tackle any challenge that comes your way. So let's embrace this journey together, one step at a time, and equip ourselves with the skills we need to thrive. But here's the thing, my friends. Technical skills alone won't cut the mustard in this brave new world. Oh no, what will truly set you apart is your ability to cultivate those uniquely human qualities that algorithms can't replicate. Think about it. What are the things that machines struggle with? Empathy, creativity, critical thinking, the ability to inspire and motivate others, to build trust and navigate complex ethical dilemmas. These are the skills that will become even more valuable in a world increasingly driven by data and automation. Now, you might be wondering right then, old boy, where do I even begin? Well, my friends, that's where we at MJoga Coaching and Consulting come in. We're not just another consultancy peddling the latest buzzwords. Oh no, we're your trusted allies, your guides on this exciting and perhaps slightly unnerving journey into the future of leadership. Our team of expert coach and consultants with decades of experience in leadership development, organizational change, and the ethical deployment of AI can provide you with the tools, insights, and support you need to navigate this new landscape with confidence and clarity. The future is now a call to action. So my friends, I invite you to join us. Book a complimentary career breakthrough call with MJoga Coaching and Consulting today, and let us help you unlock your full leadership potential in this age of AI. Remember, the future is not something that happens to us, it's something we create. And as the great Nelson Mandela once said, it always seems impossible until it's done. So let's do this, shall we? Let's embrace the challenges, seize the opportunities, and shape a future where leadership is both technologically advanced and deeply human. Well, my friends, we've reached the end of our grand adventure, haven't we? We've explored the history of leadership, from mad kings to digital oracles, from battlefields to boardrooms, and everything in between. We've delved into the fascinating and perhaps slightly unnerving world of artificial intelligence, haven't we? Examined its potential to both enhance and disrupt the way we lead and work. We've learned that AI is a powerful tool, capable of analysing vast amounts of data, identifying patterns, and providing insights that would leave even the most astute human observer scratching their head. We've seen how it's being used in everything from recruitment and performance management to leadership development and mental well-being. But we've also discovered, haven't we, that AI is not a magic bullet. It's not a replacement for human judgment, empathy or intuition. The most sophisticated algorithm can't replicate the spark of creativity, the warmth of human connection, or the ability to inspire and motivate others based on shared values and a common purpose. Remember, my friends, leadership is not just about data and algorithms, is it? It's about understanding human nature, about navigating complexity about making tough decisions with both head and heart. It's about building trust, fostering collaboration, and creating a sense of shared purpose that transcends individual ambitions. So, as we stand on the cusp of this exciting and perhaps slightly daunting new era, let us embrace the possibilities while remaining mindful of the potential pitfalls. Let us use AI as a tool for good, a force for progress, a way to augment our strengths and overcome our limitations. 
The future of leadership is not about choosing between humans and algorithms, is it? But about finding ways for them to work together, to complement and enhance each other. It's about creating a world where technology empowers us to be more human, more compassionate and more effective in our leadership roles. And with that, my friends, I bid you farewell. Remember, the journey of leadership is a marathon, not a sprint. So pace yourselves, keep your minds open, your hearts engaged and your moral compasses firmly calibrated. And never, ever underestimate the power of a good cuppa and a chat. Until next time, my friends, keep calm, lead on, and remember, as the indomitable Winston Churchill once said, success is not final, failure is not fatal, it is the courage to continue that counts.